What's up guys, Turner here. I'm like that, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> right, yeah. So, this is a tutorial basically telling you guys how to put a character skin on your character for Minecraft without actually having a premium account. This is me showing off Link. I use Link because he's my favourite character of all time from every game ever created. He's, he's a Dom. That's what I say, he's a Dom. But yeah. I'm just gonna walk around and show you his, his shield, his Hylian shield on the back and shit. And then yeah, right, so this is my epic background screensaver thing, Iron Maiden. Yeah. So um what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go on a website called the uh, Minecraft Skins and then you've got to go in skin decks. I'll put a link in the description for you so you can go check it out. It's got like thirty-six thousand four hundred and sixty-three like skin different skins on it and it's increasing every minute there's like millions no there is millions i just said there's thousands fucking dumbass but yeah there's quite a lot of stuff there um that you could pretty much get a, a skin for whatever you want basically whatever skin you want it'll most likely be there so i'm gonna get the assassin's creed brotherhood 2 one so if you click the actual little picture It'll come up with a pop-out box, and then it'll give you a preview of what your character will look like wearing it. And I'm a big fan of Assassin's Creed, so I'm going to do this one for you guys. So, X that when you don't want it. Right. And then on the right hand side, it'll have a thumbs up, which you don't want to click. Then something else with a hand that you don't want to click. You want to click the one that has a down arrow, and then like a drive button. So click that, and then it'll download it for you. And it'll download to wherever you download all your stuff. Mine's the desktop. So we'll shut that down. You don't need the internet from here unless you want to get more skins. So you've got your PNG file there now. So what you want to do is you want to press Windows and R. That's obviously if you're working on Windows. And then you type in percentage app data percentage, which was there. You have to pause that there because I did go pretty fast, or I might just make it a bit longer. But yeah, you want to type that in, and it'll take you to your application data folder, and there you'll find pretty much well, not you'll find quite a lot of stuff in there. But that is where um, all your Minecraft stuff is. So for me, it's down at the bottom, and the folder will be called dot Minecraft, no capitals, just dot Minecraft. So you want to open that up. Oh, I really wish I did this live now, because then I sit around like a twat waiting for myself to actually open it up. There we go. Silly me. Right, and then uh, you've got a few folders in there, but the one you're most interested in is the bin folder, B-I-N. So you want to open that up. And then... There'll be one called Minecraft, and that'll be your Minecraft.jar file, and then you want to, ex well not extract it, you want to open it with an archiver, I use WinRAR archiver, so I click open with WinRAR archiver, but there's 7-zip and WinZip, I don't know if they're the same thing, but I know you can use them to do it as well. You could probably use some other stuff that I'm not aware of, if you've got it by all means use that. So, I opened that with WinRAR archiver, and then it'll open up and it'll have all the files that are inside it they'll mainly be all be like file classes which i'm not sure what they are you guys might but i have no idea but it's just called file class and yeah just no idea what they do but that you're not interested in there don't mean matter anything to you this is just a simple thing um if you don't have winrar or or anything i'll put a, win, a link to download winrar in the description for you to use so yeah, look, there's all the class folders at the bottom, but you want to be in the mob folder. The folders are all at the top, and they'll be made to inf, and then something else, then they'll be mob folder. So you want to open that up, and then it'll have loads of different ones in, like, the squid thing. So you can change all them if you wanted to, but I wouldn't advise you to. So what you want to do, there'll be one already in there called car PNG. And if you did open that, I didn't, but if you do open that, it'll be the default skin for a character on Minecraft. So what you want to do is you want to get the um, PNG file, the uh, file you downloaded from the skin decks, minecraftskins.com. Then you want to rename it to CHAR, um, yeah, just CHAR, lowercase, 
and then yeah that'll do so what you want to do after that is drag that file into the uh, WinRAR archive in the mob folder and then it will replace the other one and then it will be replaced with the one you want and for me that's the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood one let's wait for others to do all that and then press OK and I'll press a few buttons and then it'll be sorted wait for it wait for it yeah, it's a pretty simple and easy method um, of going around it and it does work because I've shown you an example before and after um, I figured out myself, I'm sure there's other many other people that have done that done this, so this is me showing you the Assassin's Creed one there we go, just to prove that it has worked but I'm sure there's many people that have done this tutorial but I've brought it to mute this game is now I don't know if other people have done it right or not or if it worked but this one definitely does work, try it for yourself and yeah, I'm just gonna walk around, have a poo. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, right, and then I'm gonna walk around a bit more. Right, it's turning for mutinous gamers. Oh, the phone, fuck off.